We are to the power section of this video, and I'm going to play a short clip, and it will not involve Professor Carey. Thank you very much. But we are going to talk about who is involved in this clip. Take a quick look. The app is blowing up. There's something that you're hiding. It's I thought we had a deal, Sax. You can't trust anybody. I'm back for more. I'm everything that you've been up to. You know everything. This ain't no negotiation. Do we have an understanding? Hmm. Mm. So, Larry. It's coming up soon, man. It's coming up yeah, soon. Man. We've got a couple of people we need to identify, Larry. So let's start the identification process. Larry, who's in that mask? Uh, I don't know, some fake Bane? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Lord have mercy. That's a pretty wicked looking mask, though. I'll say that. Well, in the trailer, you saw whoever this person was looked like he was running behind Kane. And mm. so if you're going to go in it with that perspective, I would say we know it's not Drew. Whoever's in that mask appears to be either light skinned or white. So I would oh, make an brownness in there. I think it's one of those uh, GTG. I think, I think it's one of those GCG dudes. It, uh, yeah. But why, why would they be running around with Kane when Kane them beat him down? You know who I think is in that mask, Larry? Who? Braden's brother that stole the drugs. You think he looks too big to be Braden's brother? It, hey, Braden's brother was taller than Braden. And yeah, but he was thin though. He didn't look. This dude looks like he has a little bulk on him. Maybe I can't he's just tell. The vest. I I can't tell. But you think his brother is that tough? I don't think he no, is. No, I don't think his brother's tough at all. But when you put a gun in somebody's hands, haven't you seen how people all of a sudden get this fake ass courage? Yeah. They so you call the great equalizers for a reason. Okay, so and here's another here's another angle of that person holding up his weapon. Okay. So the next person we gotta figure out, Larry, is who is this guy? Man. <laughs> he I was in know. the trailer too. Where is he at? Looks like he's in a museum or somewhere. Is that a sarcophagus next to him? Man, I have no idea, but I think definitely this cat is with GTG. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. That dude looks like a like a old Neo or something with, you know. Hey, whatever he's doing, he's spraying, ain't he? Like that brother is, is that spraying. A guy or a girl? He looks like he's got a girl's jacket on. Man, come on, man. That's a dude, man. Looking it like is? Ziggy Marley. That's yeah, that's a guy, man. God, you sure man. that's not Snoop from The Wire? No, man. No, I... no, no, no. And <laughs> I'm just saying, no. <laughs> <laughs> so my guess is that's GTG and Larry, we got one more for you. Who is that holding down Tariq wearing all the white? Yeah, I think that's probably, uh, I think that's probably, uh, what's his name's uh, husband? He's about to, he's about to uh, take Tariq's booty. I think that's what's about to happen there. What? I think I think Tariq underestimated him and he tried to come at him about the app and dude just put him down there and said, I'll take it if I want it. You're going to do what I tell you. Man, no way. That That is not Simon Stearns' husband. Yeah, Man, yeah that's Simon Stearns' Stop. dude. That's what it is right Stop there. It. Stop it. Yeah. That, that is probably Monet, possibly. I don't know. How's Monet going to get him down there unless somebody put him down there and she jumped on him? Kane put him down there, then she jumped on. That's how she did GTG. Yeah. You know, I, I mean. No, that's Tommy. That's not Tommy. Tommy's, if Tommy comes back to, to Tariq, Tommy's coming back with love in his heart. Because if Tommy was coming back with anything else, you wouldn't see Tommy coming. That's probably true, you know. You know? Um, now, I, I think he might want to, you know, slap Tariq around, hold him off a building or something like that again. But, yeah. He's not going to come back and kill Tariq or Tasha. No way. No way. And he only does Tariq like that, I think, because he likes Tariq. I think he sees a lot of he sees a lot of uh, of uh, James in his dad and in him. He's like, because, you know, Tommy wasn't the biggest fan of James St. Patrick. He was a big fan of Ghost. But he see I think he sees a lot of Ghost in Tariq. And I think he likes that. So, I, I mean, I, I think if Tommy comes back, if we see Tommy with Tariq, it's going to be all love. It's just going to be him. It may be some tough love, but it's going to be all love. 
Yeah, and I, is it Larry? Is it still even a debate whether or not Tommy is going to pop his head in this season? No, we'll see him. We'll see him. He's gonna he's gonna come in. It's gonna be a. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll see him like on the last two episodes, mm -hmm. and they don't want to overshadow the series with with Tommy, so they'll bring him in the last two episodes just so that just so that we can say, hey, here he is, and then the last episode will lead into his show. I'm almost right. certain that's how it's gonna go down. I, I feel like that would be a great way to do it too. 